The Smith & Nephew Footprint PK Suture Anchor is intended to provide secure fixation of soft tissue to bone. The unique design captures suture limbs from other anchors within the rotator cuff, allowing compression of the rotator cuff tissue to the humeral head between the double row of anchors. The amount of suture tension placed across the cuff tissue is adjustable because the internal plug securing the suture can be reversed, allowing an increase or decrease in tension on the cuff tissue. The components of the device consist of the footprint anchor, the suture threader tab and loop, a retention suture, and the torque limiter knob on the inserter handle, which controls the advancement of the anchor inner plug used to secure the suture. The suture threader device is used to thread the medial anchor limbs through the footprint anchor. The retention suture assists in anchor retrieval if necessary and is removed once the anchor is implanted in the patient. The suture limbs are then manually tensioned and secured by turning the torque limiter knob in a clockwise position. The torque limiter ensures the plug advances the proper distance to secure the suture without over-tensioning. The fixation is now complete. If desired, the amount of suture tension can be adjusted and this capability will be demonstrated in the following technique. In our animation, the patient is shown in a beach chair position and the viewing portal is placed in the posterior position. Two standard portal placements are shown in the lateral and accessory lateral positions. First, implant the medial row anchors. We have shown two TwinFix PK fully threaded anchors in this example. For simplicity, we have unloaded one suture from each anchor, so only one suture remains in each. After passing the suture through the cuff and upon completion of knot tying, park the free suture limbs out of the accessory lateral cannula or a stab incision. It is important to always maintain axial alignment. Insert the awl down into the cannula, placing it at a lateral position on the edge of the footprint area. If the bone quality appears poor, the hole and anchor position can be moved to a more lateral position relative to the footprint edge. Tap the awl with a mallet until the etch mark on the inserter shaft sits at the bone surface. Remove the awl from the shoulder. In preparation of loading the footprint PK suture anchor, use a loop grasper to bring one free limb from each medial row anchor out of the lateral cannula. While holding the footprint anchor inserter handle, push the suture threader tab forward towards the anchor, releasing the suture threader loop. Feed the two medial suture limbs through the suture threader loop. Remove the suture threader tab from the inserter shaft and pull it away to thread the two medial limbs through the hole in the footprint anchor tip. Discard the suture threader. While keeping some slack in the free medial suture limbs, advance the anchor into the joint towards the prepared hole. Orient the anchor such that the medial limbs entering the anchor face the tissue so the suture does not twist around the anchor. Use a mallet to tap the anchor into place until it is sitting one millimeter below the bone surface. Once the anchor is implanted, the retention suture should be removed from the inserter handle and discarded. While holding the inserter handle, Pull on the free medial limbs until the desired amount of suture tension is set across the rotator cuff tissue. 
The suture limbs can then be secured within the tabs on the inserter handle. Once secured, rotate the torque limiter knob in a clockwise direction until several audible clicks are heard and the knob no longer advances the inner anchor plug. Check the final fixation. If satisfied, remove the inserter handle and cut the suture to finish. Upon checking the final fixation, if an adjustment to the suture tension is warranted, hold the inserter handle and turn the torque limiter knob in a counterclockwise direction only until the suture can slide through the hole in the anchor tip. Loosen or tighten the suture until the desired amount of tension is achieved. The knob is then turned in a clockwise direction to lock the sutures into place. Remove the inserter handle and cut the suture. Shown is the open face suture cutter that can be loaded outside or inside the joint. Partial deployment of the device secures the suture within the cutter and the cutter is advanced into the joint. Final deployment of the device cuts the suture with a short tail. Typically, a second footprint anchor is inserted next to the first anchor and has been threaded with the second limb from each of the medial anchor knots, creating a crisscross design across the tissue. As well, if the medial anchors come loaded with two sutures, the second suture from each medial anchor can be tied together, creating a medial bridge across the tissue posterior to anterior. The final result is a fixation that runs both medial to lateral and posterior to anterior, yielding a transosseous equivalent repair.